Hey, this is JR, aka The Tourist, and I'm at Hong Kong International Airport, and I'm here to talk about how to get from here to anywhere in the city you want to go. So, stay tuned. Welcome to Hong Kong International Airport. Join me as we exit the terminal and run through the options for getting into the city. Hong Kong's airport is modern and efficient. You may have a long walk or have to take a train, depending on your arrival gate, but getting through immigration and customs will likely be a breeze. Getting into the city is equally hassle-free. So when you land in Hong Kong and you go through immigration and go through customs, you're going to come out here in the arrivals hall. And from here, you've got a few choices about how to get into the city. Let's cover them. There are three main ways of getting into Hong Kong. Your easiest option is the airport express train, which takes 24 minutes to reach Central Station. From the arrivals hall, it's a straight shot to the train platform. Of course, you'll need tickets. You can purchase tickets from an attendant, who can also answer any of your questions, or you can buy your tickets from one of the several machines. On a side note, this is an octopus card. You can use these on all the trains, buses, and trams in Hong Kong, plus in fast food places, convenience stores, and more. I suggest picking up an octopus card and putting a few hundred Hong Kong dollars on it. It will come in handy while you're in town. Proceed down the hall from arrivals and you'll reach the Airport Express platform. The train starts running at 10 minutes to 6 in the morning, and the last train of the day leaves the airport at 12.48 a.m. Depending on the time of day, you shouldn't have to wait more than a few minutes. There are signs posted alerting you of the next train arrival. The trains are clean and spacious. The luggage area can fill up during busy times, but you'll most likely get a seat. So sit back and enjoy your first glimpses of Hong Kong. Making this video reminds me of my first glimpses of Hong Kong from this very train. I made this channel to share these experiences and help you plan new ones. If you're enjoying this video or find this information helpful, consider subscribing to the channel. I release a new video every week. Join me and we'll tour the world together. The Airport Express train makes the 25 miles into Central in 24 minutes. The train also stops at Kowloon Station for those of you staying on the Kowloon side of Hong Kong Harbor. You'll use your card to swipe out of the station. From there, you can catch a taxi to your destination. The taxi lineup is just opposite the train platform. From Central Station, you can expect to pay a fare of anywhere from five to 10 US dollars for a ride to the areas you're most likely to be staying. You can of course take a taxi directly from the airport. Take a left just before the Airport Express platform and you'll reach the taxi stand. Right now I'm standing by the taxi station and when you get over here you're going to see that there's three different lines. If you don't know which taxi to take, chances are you want the red ones. That's the urban taxi. Those are the ones that go to Hong Kong Island and Kowloon which is where most tourists will end up staying. Now that urban taxi line is the first one to your left. The next one is green, and those taxis go to the new territories. And last on the line are the blue taxis, which go to Lantau Island, which is where the Hong Kong International Airport is located. Taxis follow approximately the same route into the city as the Airport Express. If you're staying on Hong Kong Island or on the Kowloon side, the taxi ride will take about 30 minutes in light traffic. Expect to pay a fare of between 35 and 45 US dollars. Now 
Another option is the bus, especially if you know exactly where you're going. The Airport Express or Taxi are your best options from Hong Kong International Airport. But for those looking to save a few bucks, there's another option. There are bus routes operating to all points in Hong Kong. But again, you're likely going to be staying on Hong Kong Island or the lower end of Kowloon Peninsula. If you have a good idea of where you're headed, and there's a route to that location, the bus trip should be painless. To get to the bus stop area, you'll head right just before the Airport Express platform. The opposite direction is the taxi stand. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for future videos on Hong Kong, other parts of Southeast Asia, and destinations around the world.